Hey, hey, it's Yvonne. I am out thrifting. Hi, hi. On July the 4th. Got a coupon. So, let's go do it. Plus, it's Military Monday. Check the vases. No, I've been whining a lot lately, huh? Because there just hasn't been a lot of good vases. I, but I know my competition on vases. I, well, and I use that term loosely because, um, whoops, sorry about that, floral dust. That's new, but I like that tiled in, that abalone or shell tiled in, $6.99. Yellow is the only color not on sale. Anyways, there's some ladies that own a florist business, and so they are on the vases too. Now this was made for Teleflora, so it, you can see that. But they had some interesting people make stuff for them. But you can tell, you know, a little bit cheaper because not finished edges and everything. But that's still kind of pretty. So I might get that. Let's check up top. I've got company, so I'm just going to show you from here. Okay, let's check another aisle. I haven't been to this one for about a week. So, um, like I was saying, it is July the 4th, Monday. So it's Military Monday, so I get half off of all colors except for yellow, which is what's coming out. But then also, for today being a holiday, if you are on their... <laughs> sorry. If you're on their mailing list, um, you will get... Then you... Oh. Guys no. I know you all love these. $3.99. Yes, we'll get that. I'm sorry. The crackle glass. I always buy these and you all seem to love them and they sell well everywhere. Any platform that I put them on or my booth. Okay, anyways. The Arctext group. I've got a $10 off if I spend $30. So. That will allow me to possibly get some things that aren't half price, you know, coming out the yellow. That's for dis display at my booth. I buy those when they're reasonable. Firemen, a soap brotherhood of local might. Let me look at this. Be a dollar. Darn, I wish it, the graphics were better. Proud of our firefighters. I live in Colorado, and that's the one thing that is most prominent that we worry about is fire, forest fires. And our firemen are just on it, so brave. <laughs> that's probably a little too unique. I don't even understand it. Someone got real creative. That does look like an Avon critter. Don't really want that for my collection though. Checking out the acrylic. It's not really all that cool and it's already starting to turn yellow. Boa constrictor snake eyes. Boa and the constrictors. Never heard of them. Speaking of snakes, got a snake charmer. Italian, huh? Little Nick. That's an unusual, in my opinion, <laughs> that's an unusual theme. Lifetime keepsake. That is specialized. I just saw what I thought was Winnie the Pooh and I promised to look at Winnie the Pooh stuff for a couple followers that yanked my chain a little for me. Okay, this side was a little bare. Let's turn around. Other side. Those are cute. $3.99 made in China. Those are cute though. I like that kind of stuff. I've got some with pearl handles that are actually vintage though. Let's just take a peek at the dolls. 
nothing standing out to me little glass angel for some reason she's turning yellow doesn't look like it on my camera screen but she's turning yellow for some reason I might understand purple or something dried flowers yep yeah, you know probably a little picked over from Saturday and Sunday but post office is closed what is that carpenter show it's a diorama model $4.99 Japanese it looks like this is ceramic genuine heritage China. I think it was a bottle, right? You can't turn missing the lid. I saw something on the corner of my eye. Oh, down here. I'm going to see what these are. I'm in love with acrylic picture holders. $2.99. Oh, that's 60s, 70s, maybe early 80s too, isn't it? My aesthetic is just kind of stuck there. But that's okay. It's a cool aesthetic. Well, darn. Okay, let's go look around someplace else. We have moved on into the kitchen stuff. I added one thing. This 1990s popular electronics. Because it has some instructions for some of the older equipment. I'm not sure. I'm just taking a little leap here. Okay? <laughs> it's 50 cents. The Muffin Master. <laughs> How much is that? $2.99 be half price for me today. Oh, I wish this was in better shape. That is so picnic. Vintage picnic-y epic. <laughs> I love this. Oh, I wish it was in better shape. Look the vintage tablecloth pattern cherries watermelon apple and ants oh darn we gotta let it be though you guys that's just a little bit too beyond repair i love kitcheny gadgets but i gotta stop because i don't have any more place to put stuff so i'm like you're just gonna have to do stuff old school way no place to put all these fancy <laughs> kitchen stuff that are so cool seem fun to have right all right let's turn around what's in here this doesn't look like it belongs well it does belong barbecue set wow this is, is this like for professional barbecues like when they have those contests you know stuff's going down <laughs> when the whatever the barbecue master walks in with briefcases that probably means business <laughs> My goodness. Pyrex. Pansy Mariposa. Clueless on that. A little slim pickets, but I'm having fun. I'm having fun being out of the house a little bit. Let's see these little kitty shakers. They don't look too old. They are a little bit though. Look at that made in China but they're a little older delicate hand-painted surface do not scrub I like these $4.99 ouch no. salt and pepper shakers don't sell for that much unless they're pretty epic and I will throw up a snapshot of some I sold that were pretty darn epic I'll throw that up right now On the next aisle some enamel wear I finally sold some of that enamel wear it's funny to me how certain things sell better online where there's a wider audience I guess because you know trends kind of are on a roller coaster ride regionally you know what I mean regionally um, so sometimes what will sell great on eBay 
doesn't really translate into the booth very well. Wait a minute, is that Pyrex? Yes, that is. I mean Corel, sorry, I meant Corel. Some of this older Corel, people like the patterns. Now I personally just like I, I like this kind of pattern. I buy a few just for, for our everyday use. I might get a couple of those. I don't buy that kind of pattern. I try to buy the more artsy stuff or the ones that I discover are highly sought after for replacement value. I might buy me two of those in the black. Let's see what else they have and I'll come back and pick pick those out. You guys don't have to watch me pick out those. <laughs> I'm just going to pick out two of them. Okay, I don't see anything else this looks like Fiesta copy. It is indeed. Yep. Greenbrier. This actually would be sold at the Dollar Tree. Isn't that crazy? Which is now, I believe, a dollar twenty-five. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in your area, but in my area, they are a dollar twenty-five. Okay, that's personalized for wedding. They're a dollar twenty-five, and they've added sections where things are priced as they price them. Oh, hello! It's been such a long time since I've seen the potatoes. But you know what? Maybe I hurt their feelings. I used to see potatoes every thrift store I went to, and I'd make fun of them. Now these have the spoon. I love that baby blue in there. They're half price. I'm going to make it up to them. I'm going to buy those. And if they don't sell, I'll just use them. Anna and I eat a lot of baked potatoes, and we load them up with good vegetables and stuff. She tries to be vegan too. We're like 99.9. .9. You guys, seriously, like I said. If somebody's got a big old steak in front of me, like a prime rib or something, like my husband's eating a prime rib, I'm going to take a bite. It's more about health than it is animal rights. And you know what? The last time I said that, somebody got so mad at me and said, I don't know why they interpreted it as I didn't care about animal rights. <laughs> I'm like, who said that? Uh-oh, we got to get this for the Smiley Collection. It's also from that movie, Forrest Gump. <laughs> That'll be cute. Oh, how much is it? I should look. $1.99, yeah. That's going to be for my smiley collection. <laughs> Anyways, what was I babbling about? Oh, yes. So, somebody got really mad at me and nasty in comments. They took it as I was saying I didn't care about animal rights. No. I was just saying about trying to be vegan, like 99.9, .9, right? I was just saying um, that it wasn't about animal rights for me. That's such a complex issue, and I'm not saying I'm not into animal rights, but I wanted to qualify myself because I'm not trying to act like, oh, I'm vegan, I don't eat meat, you know? Because that can be offensive to, you know, I'm not trying to say I'm better than anybody because I try not to eat meat. Sorry, these are Tiffin. They're only clear, but still, for that price, I'll get them. These are Tiffin, yeah. Let's see if there's any more. There's four of them. Sorry, I should show you more. Hang on. Okay, there. I've got a red decanter I haven't listed yet. I've got some of these in, I think, a smoky color. But see that rough texture? So, like, 70s steakhouse feel, right? <laughs> okay, so there's four of those, and those were pretty cheap. Anyways, I hope you guys understand my little sp spiel on vegan and when I say it's not about animal rights, it's not not about animal rights either, okay? <laughs> I'm just trying not to sound like a brat, like, nah, nah, nah. I see something pretty in the back. There's only one. Let me see. Okay, it's too thin, so I'm not going to try to pull it out. There's a beautiful turquoise color. I think we did what we could do here. I wish I knew more about this. But this game would be tough in my town because I... It's mostly men. And one of them is my friend Charlie. His wife does glass and stuff like I do. And he does books, Starbucks mugs, and records. And so I'd really have to like bone up real quick to be able to 
score something, but this just caught my eye. My mom loved Tom Jones. Watched that show. <laughs> Actually, oh look at Green. Uh, actually, he's a good singer. Whatever happened to him? Look at all these Tom Jones albums. Oh my gosh, Delilah. <laughs> oh my gosh, my mom loved him. My mom's German, so that caught my eye too. They were just right on top. German marching songs. What's that? Music for the girlfriend. Let me be careful. I don't want to scratch it in case it's something important. I feel like I should get this just for the graphics. I feel like a dollar, I'm gonna get this. I feel like someone would like that just for the pinup graphics, which I don't do a lot of. Yeah, I'm gonna do that and see how that goes. That's an idea, right? It's an idea. Wonder what else might be in here. Okay. This would be something I would do by myself, you guys. I don't want to bore you to death. <laughs> that would be fun, though. I know when George was here, one of the times, um, and we did this strip down Academy of Shopping, I lost him, and I couldn't see him anywhere. You know, he's tall like me, and I finally found him way back here in this corner, down on his hands and knees, going through all this. So apparently George knows a little bit about what to look for. Can't remember if he bought anything or not. Wait a minute, was that Eddie Arnold? Oh, my dad liked that, Eddie Arnold. It was some kind of cowboy song. <laughs> now I'm like thinking about all the graphics of these albums, right? Preschool activities. <laughs> that is so cute. All right, that's for another day when I really have like a lot of time. And I think I see a, no, I thought it was Harley. It's Star Wars. I thought that was Harley. Okay, let's look at purses. Damsel in defense. That says Dooney and Burke. Might be real. I just noticed the little ant crawling on it. Gosh, Dooney and Burke's been around for a long time. I remember that in the 80s and 90s. Look at that, Vera Bradley. Nice little beach stripe print. I think we will head on up to the next one. Juicy Couture. I just like the little parrot. Nike. There's the Dooney Burke I remember. Their iconic logo there with the duck. All right, we are at New Horizons Thrift Store. They're open today. That's cool. And, but only open till five. It's about three o'clock now. I got time. When is this bird? Oh, 99 cents. Blinged out bird. Kind of like that. I've got quite a few that I use at Christmas time. Hey, that's a good box for this place. 99 cents. We have mountains. Oh, sorry. I got this because I have a big one too. So I'm gonna clean that one up and put it with the big one. Ice bucket, I'm not buying any more ice buckets because no one cares about the ones that I have. So lesson learned, $2.99, that's cool. I'm sure it's contemporary, but it's pretty cool. Blue tags are on sale here, half price today. And then they have a lot of random sales when you look at the, when you look at the ta at the signs on the wall, it's a lot of random sales. Like, buy a pair of sandals, get get half price. That's a pheasant. <laughs> Let's take this off. That looks like Pennsylvania Dutch, if I'm allowed to say it like that. Two ninety nine. It's a tissue box. Well, they tried to reinforce it and keep it from splitting, but unfortunately it still is. Otherwise, I would do that. That's interesting. It's quiet when I don't talk. They don't have a lot of loud music here 
when they do play it's a Christian genre. Something party light. Just the candles. Okay. Hold still there, giraffe. Someone's pottery practice. $1.99. They did sign it. That's a little rough. <laughs> Your field good earth candle. You guys can't see. Somebody's doing some crafting. They made some kind of a little assemblage. There's another wooden box. Looks like one of those souvenir boxes when you go places. It's broken, y'all. I'm gonna make this thing Hey, that looks like something. It's I might be wrong, but it's giving me Japanese vibes like it goes with some kind of rice eating set. I could be wrong. That's just off the top of my head. What I think's going on there. Steamboat Springs, that's a fun place to be. They have the, it's up the mountain, it's a ski place, one of the more affordable ones, I believe, and that's where they have the international ice sculpture thing. That is so cool. Manitou has one too, but the one up at Steamboat Springs is like international, it's like big dog. Those outdoor light covers, that's what this is, right? These two pieces. Let's see what's in there. You guys see anything? I don't, except for maybe this, the Cape San Francisco Music Company. It looks like it's missing something already though. Sometimes I'll do those. Depends on the theme and the condition, of course. Oh my gosh, your adorable little basket. That's a cookie tin or something. On air comfort, okay. Blow up your bed, I guess. That's interesting. Some kind of dog or tiger napkin holders. Plastic bananas, not glass, or I would get them. Those are only 49 cents. It's like shopping at the bin sometimes coming here. It's such great prices. Well, Somebody spray painted it, but that's a nice color blue. It's just really would need some help. It's kind of warped. Huh. We're going to put this in the cart in case there's more of these when I get to the glasses. Oh, that's a horrible picture. I'm sorry. Who wants to hang that picture? I think those are worth a little bit. Let's check the condition. For 49 cents. Mm, condition's not great, but I think that is worth a little bit of money. Hello. Aren't you supposed to use this and then like put needlepoint on it? $1.99. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put some needlepoint on that first. <laughs> Am I wrong? Oh, here's some Regency stuff. Let's set it up. $1.99. Put it in your bathroom. Put like wash towels or really you could do whatever you wanted with this. $1.99. Can I bend that back? Let me think about it. Glasses and such. Let's see if we can find couple more of these and I'm gonna put those back with the utensils. There's some like fondue forks in there. I'm gonna put those back when we get to the right spot. I'm pretty sure they don't belong in there. So New Horizons. Some of their prices are slowly rising and that's cool. They need to make their money. It's for a good purpose. I trust this one. And but some of them are still great. Like most of this is 49 cents. Where the Goodwill would be $1.99, $2.99 and up. 
if it's something they really thought was super cool. <laughs> you see these everywhere. Those are cute though, little juice size. It's cute for juice size. You don't have to worry that you can't microwave it because it's just a little juice glass. I think these are Anchor Hawking. Maybe Indiana Glass Tierra line. I'm not sure. Lots of people did that cube stuff. Some of the better companies, you know, the pieces are way more epic for sure. Okay, while I was talking, I thought I saw something. Oh, this. I've got the bowl that matches $2.99, but it's got a chip. I've got the big serving bowl that matches that. And these have been here a while, and the reason I didn't buy these, this is um, Georgian by uh, Indiana. Darn it, why can't I remember? Because I have some of these that we use every day to kind of save the Noritake perspective. But these are so badly used. Sorry, little babies. Okay, I see something minty and cute. Transferware ashtray made for someone, Lynn and Jeff. Oh my gosh. I almost want to get that for 99 cents and try to fix it. I'm not that good though. Like it, you know, to make it look nice. That's so sweet for only 99 cents. Darn. I'm putting in some Juju or Mojo. Yeah, Juju is bad. I'm putting some Mojo that somebody gets this. We're going to put it someplace else too. That somebody says, I can fix that. Let's look at that little minty green color. And then with the birdies. I did it again. I just checked out and left. Sorry, I didn't get much more. A couple tops for myself and a bag of their awesome popcorn. Okay, that's where we were though. I'm headed home now. It's almost time for everyone to start getting settled where they're going to watch fireworks at. Bye-bye.